Hello students, this is Vinod from Endurance Engineering Academy. So there is a recent, uh, what is that, uh, uh, announcement from ISRO that ISRO is going to recruit, uh, what is that, uh, recruit scientific officer uh, post after, it's like around two years, uh, 10 months, like approximately three years, you could see, you could say, because the exam, the last ISRO exam has happened in the month of uh, January 2020. Okay, so approximately three years. So after three years, there is going to be a recruitment from ISRO. Okay, and actually this uh, announcement has been, uh, it's not announced by ISRO. Instead of that, there is an RTI, okay, right to information, uh, which has been filed by some of the students. And from that, the announcement, there is uh, the announcement has come. Okay, so what actually that RTA, that replay of that RTA states, uh, ISRO is saying that uh, the exam, uh, ISRO exam is going to be conducted uh, sooner and uh, the advertisement of that will be available from December 2022. Okay, so in December 2022, the advertisement will be available. So approximately you will be, you are having two and a half months. Okay, you are having two and a half months for the advertisement, like or else you consider it's two months. Okay, because December, right? So two months. Okay. For the advertisement and from there you can expect uh, some uh, one to two months for the exam to happen okay so most probably if in the december at the earliest date itself if the announcement comes then your exam will be in january okay so in the early that is if the if the, if the exam if the announcement comes by december first week or the second week then your exam will be in january if the december uh, if, the, if the notification comes at the end of December, then your exam will be in March. There is no possibility for the exam to happen in the February. So the most like what I feel, what I feel is like if the, the announcement that this is obviously an expectation. So the announcement will be given in the December month and the exam might happen in the January month. So that ISRO will happen in Jan and then uh, GATE will be happening in February. This is how the plan and obviously BARC will happen in March month. So three exams continuously in three months. That's that will be the ideal one, but we don't know, right? Like it completely depends on the completely depends on that um, uh, the board. Okay, the ISRO board. Okay, right. Like in this video, what we are going to see, we are going to understand what actually uh, what are all the things that you need to take care of for the ISRO exam. Okay. And uh, what are the subjects you need to prepare and uh, how the exams are oriented, etc. That's what we are majorly going to focus on. So the first thing is, as I already said, it will be opening from the advertisement will be opening from December 2022. And the overall pattern, if you observe, there is going to be written test and there is going to be an interview. See, once after clearing the written test, okay, if you once after if you clear the written test, you will jump into interview. And in interview, your written test score is not at all going to be matter, which means Written test is something which is going to be useful for you to enter into interview. Okay, once if you enter into interview, it's completely going to be the interview which is going to decide your selection. Okay, that is how both the ISRO exam and BARG exam will happen. And uh, it's more familiar, that is, it's the most familiar, uh, what is that, most familiar pattern, okay, when it comes to research based recruitment. So, ISRO exam, written test, it will be happening. And uh, regarding the written test, I will talk about it a little bit more. Once if you clear the cutoff of the written test, you will be you will be calling for the interview. And once after that, uh, only the interview is going to decide your selection. And generally, these are the departments uh, which will be recruited through ISRO exam, like mechanical, civil, EC, triple E, and computer science. These are the major department which will be recruited uh, through ISRO exams. Okay. Now coming to written test, uh, there will be 80 questions in which each question carries three marks, and you have 90 minutes for answering that 80 questions. So approximately uh 1.1 or 1.2 minutes for each question okay and each question will be having a negative mark of one okay and coming to syllabus it's mostly it's mostly gate syllabus maybe one or two topics it might have been included other than that it is mostly gate syllabus but of course there may be some general physics question and general chemistry question but it will be very very rare that is out of this uh 80 questions, four to five questions you might expect. Okay, four to five questions you might expect from general physics and chemistry. Other than that, it's going to be completely what you do in case of gate. For example, mechanical, whatever the mechanical gate syllabus, whatever mechan uh, civil gate syllabus, uh, EC gate syllabus, triple gate syllabus, computer science gate syllabus, one or two topics might be included. But other than that, other than the core part, mathematics, of course, the math mathematics is included. And also it will be having good weightage. Okay, it might you might have some eight to 10 marks for mathematics alone. Regarding the weightage, I will talk about it a little bit later. 
yeah and then coming to this physics and chemistry part like very general so you don't have to you don't have to prepare this separately just prepare your gate syllabus including mathematics that will be enough okay and okay it was repeated i'm sorry it is repeated two times yeah that's that is how that is how it is uh, oriented okay right now coming to interview as concerned it will be only technical interview no other hr interview or no other non tech part there won't be any group discussion there won't be any what is that hr interviews only 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 technical interview what you know what is your technical knowledge that's what they are going to check there is no non tech interviews okay right now coming to how to prepare for its exam is for scientist exam very simple just analyze the previous mark distribution pattern and then prepare those subjects based on gate syllabus you need to prepare gate syllabus that means you need to solve gate previous question you need to solve isro previous question and then take proper test series basics of all the exams okay there is no other doubt these are the basics okay isro previous year and gate previous year and test series uh, corresponding to isro that will be that will be good and of course the content content you need to prepare for gate level and what are the subjects you need to concentrate that i will be giving you uh, in the mark distribution okay right see marks distribution as concern as you know as you know that we are going we are dealing uh, only with mechanical and engineering science so i am just giving you the idea about mechanical engineering considering material science and manufacturing process it is the highest weighted subject i was just taking the average of 2020 2018 and 2020 okay the the paper which happened uh, the paper of 2018 and 2020 okay so in an average of 18 to 20 marks for uh, material science and manufacturing and 8 to 12 marks for heat transfer and 8 to 9 marks for strength of materials and 8 to 9 marks for theory of machines and 7 to 8 marks for fluid mechanics so obviously these are the these are the fluid mechanics including hydraulics okay including hydraulic machines so these are the key subjects the major weighted subject and next to it it's going to be basic and applied and you see basic and applied combinedly there is going to be around uh, 12 to 13 marks okay Com combination of basic and applied thermodynamics okay and of course max is also having a good weightage so if i want to say these are the level 1 subjects and these are the level 2 subjects and these are very very minor subjects level 3 em imor and uh, machine design but of course in sometimes 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 engineering mechanics has good weightage in few papers in few papers i am just analyzing 2018 and 2020 right but if you go for uh, earlier paper in 20, 2012 or uh, the paper which is which has happened before 2016 engineering mechanics is also had a good weightage okay like 5 uh, to 6 marks but reason paper the mechanics weightage was less but of course you should not skip any subject i was just giving you an idea okay that's it idea about the mark distribution okay right so that is uh, what i could say overall overview of this exam and coming to cut off the cut off basically depends on how the paper is if the paper is tough your cut off will be 140 to 150 only for mechanical okay i'm just giving you an idea for mechanical but if the paper is easy for instance 2020 and all the paper was easy and even 2017 the paper was easy your cut off will cross 160 it might reach 170 also even 180 also okay so it is like uh, based on how easy your paper your cut off will vary so it might go until 180 also 180 for mechanical uh, 180 has been reached so you have to make sure that uh, how the paper is and based on the paper you need to uh, you need to plan like uh, how many questions you need to attend and how many uh, uh, like how much marks will be there and coming to the written test part as i said there is a negative marks so this this is going to be crucial okay you should not just uh, guess any questions and one more thing uh, the isro pay, isro exam is going to be omr based exam so it is an offline exam where you don't need to uh, it's not a computer based exam okay so you'll be having a question paper and then they will be giving you a omr so you need to use that omr so you need to get little bit adapted to this omr also and uh, and negative marks as i said already there will be negative marks so please 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 don't guess any questions okay so coming to the standard exams like gate exam bark exam or isra exams you should never guess it attend the question only if you know the answer okay yeah and the strategy as concern like uh, you decide which strategy works for you and decide it based on based on uh, taking a proper test series by taking proper mock based on that you decide the strategies also okay so now finally as you guys know that from our institute entrance engineering academy we have courses for uh, mechanical and engineering sciences of course you guys know that if you prepare for gate that's going to be obviously useful for any other exam which you are writing and that's going to be useful for isro exams also demos of all those things are available demos for test series demo for courses demo for uh, video course test series everything question bank everything is available you can check the description 
and if you have any queries you can contact us in this number okay so this is our results actually the last two years result 2021 and 2022 and of course we are expecting a good result from 2023 also okay so that's it from my side and uh, and i hope that this is a very good opportunity coming to isro as concern uh, since the break of 3 years will yield you a very good amount of vacancy also okay come for isro so make sure that you use the option uh, use the opportunity in a very good manner and just uh, make worth of it okay thank you